Hi you guys, it's Amanda with Healthy House on the Block and I'm here with another weekly video and tip on creating an indoor space that really supports your health and wellness. This week we're gonna be talking about rugs and rug pads that you can put on solid surface flooring. So we know that a smooth surface for our floor is generally the least toxic option. It doesn't hold on to moisture, it doesn't hold on to as much dust, it's easier to clean, and you can find low toxin options quite easily. But a lot of times we want to add a rug and make it cozy. And a lot of times we want to add a pad under the rug to make it a little more plush. So we're going to talk about the toxins that you need to watch out for in rugs that you're bringing into your house. If you were to go get a synthetic fiber rug, chances are you're bringing in a lot of toxins. The backing has toxins. The fibers themselves have toxins. It could be treated with something that contains a lot of toxins. Um, if you look for a more natural option, you could find something that is middle of the road, low toxin, or you could even find something that's almost completely toxin free. So I'm gonna take you through all of those options today. We're gonna talk about the toxins we wanna avoid, and then I'm gonna share with you some brands that you can really trust and get behind when you are searching for a rug for your home. So what I've done is broken this week's blog post down into slides and a video format that is really digestible. It's about 10 to 15 minutes, and it has has all of the information that is in this week's blog post. However, if you're like me and you like to click on links and you like to look at the product recommendations, then I would encourage you to go to this week's blog post. I have it linked at the bottom of the video description where you can get all of the same information just with more links and more information behind the studies. So one of my favorite home items to shop for has been non-toxic rugs. It's one of those purchases that I really take my time with and I don't rush. And I love that a rug can change the whole look of a room. And I love that it is one of the best options for cozying up a home that has hard surface floors. I think one of the most important changes you can make in a home is eliminating wall to wall carpet and going for a solid surface floor. But adding just any old rug will completely cancel out the healthy change that you've made. So it's important to do detailed research before purchasing a non-toxic rug and natural rug pad, especially in the age of greenwashing and misleading advertisements. It's important to know exactly what materials are used in the rug you're wanting to purchase as well as the potential treatments. But that's exactly why you're here, isn't it? This blog post and video is going to be your best guide to purchasing a non-toxic rug and natural rug pad for any place in your home. I'm going to share with you everything you need to know about finding and buying the perfect non-toxic rug for your home. Flooring is a huge space. You can make a lot of improvements with, especially if you have kids who play on the floor in your home. Not only do the fibers from the rug enter the air, but if the rug has treatments or adhesives anywhere. It will off gas into the air as well. The closer in proximity you are to the rug, the more toxins you're going to be exposed to. Not to mention that flooring in general covers a large surface area in most homes. And by opting for toxin-free floors and non-toxic rug options, you're probably eliminating a huge source of toxins in just one project. Looking into all the options and knowing just what to look for is going to set you up for success in creating a truly healthy house. So let's dive in and take a look at the toxins that are found in most rugs. So first we're gonna look at rug fibers. Most rugs are made of synthetic fibers, meaning that they're man-made materials as opposed to natural materials. Nylon is one of the most common synthetic fibers. However, it's petroleum based. It also receives chemical treatments using sulfuric acid and formaldehyde during manufacturing, which stays in its fibers. Nylon is also in the plastic family, meaning it contains many of the same chemicals that are found in plastics, such as phthalates. And to top it all off, nylon materials emit VOCs due to the residues that are retained in the material. So polyester fibers are another textile that is extremely popular when it comes to rugs and carpets. And polyester is manufactured in a way that makes it 
carcinogenic. It's a material that's toxic to the lungs and to the heart, and polyester is made from petroleum byproducts. The fibers are basically a type of plastic that can off-gas chemicals if the material and fibers are warm or in a humid environment. Phthalates is a huge contributor to the toxins in polyester rugs, and as we know, these phthalates cause a number of health concerns, including hormone disruption. The next thing we're going to talk about is the rug backing. This is an often forgotten about part of rugs, but it can be the most toxic in many cases. The backing is often adhered to the synthetic The backing is often adhered to the synthetic fibers with glues that contain BPA, which is a neurotoxin, and rubber backing also contains styrene, which is a known carcinogen. Flame retardants are another toxin we really want to watch out for. A while ago, I did a large post all about flame retardants. It's linked in this week's blog post, and it talks about why you want to keep them out of your home. Basically, these chemical additives contribute to hormone disruption and weaken the immune system. The chemicals in most synthetic flame retardants are more harmful to kids as they're exposed to these chemicals on a more regular basis and for longer periods of time. Dyes are another thing we want to pay attention to in rugs. Dyes are another thing we want to pay attention to in rugs. Rugs come in so many different beautiful colors, but regular dyes that are used on fibers can contain many different chemicals such as lead and cadmium, which are heavy metals. These dyes are not only toxic to our health, but especially the health of our kids as the toxins build up more quickly with their systems. Dyes are also very hard on the environment during the processing and manufacturing stages, adding to the problem of water pollution. And finally, the stain and waterproof treatment on rugs is a problem. I remember when we purchased carpet for our own home, which I cringe at now, and the sales rep kept talking us into this great treatment that would make the carpet virtually waterproof. Of course, we went for it, and I was amazed at how liquid seemed to beat off the top of the carpet and never soak in. But what I didn't know was that the treatment contained PFOAs, the same chemical in Teflon and a known carcinogen. Other treatments added to rugs include antimicrobial preser- preservatives to prevent mildew and mold. The chemicals often used in this treatment are in the triclosan family, which can cause endocrine disruption and hormone disruption. Formaldehyde is another agent used in preserving carpet, which has been linked to cancer. So the important things. How do you even shop for a toxin-free rug? One of the things I've learned over time is that if I learn how to find a particular home product that is low toxin, such as a non-toxic rug, I will set myself up for success now and down the road too. It helps take the overwhelm out of the shopping process. So these few tactics that I'm gonna share are really gonna help you as you shop for a toxin-free rug and a natural rug pad. So first, find a trusted brand or store. There are some really great small businesses and green brands out there that I 100% trust. I found very quickly that sellers can write just about anything in their Amazon listing. And what I needed to do was find a brand or store that I connected with and that I trusted. Even better is finding a store brand that has a real person behind it that you want to support. Sandy at Rugs by Rue is exactly the example that I'm thinking of here. You also want to look for transparency. A product listing that lists out materials completely is like striking gold. For example, even if some of the product listings on Rugs by Rue list that they use synthetic dyes, for some reason this isn't a deal breaker for me, and so they still opt for a low toxin option instead of a totally free toxin option, which is fine with many people. This is another example of why I got so frustrated with Amazon listings. I could never find the material disclosures. And some products on Amazon do have this, but it can be very difficult to find. And so finding a brand that you trust that discloses this for all of their products is the best way to go. Another thing you can look for are third-party certifications. 
So knowing that a third party gave the green light to a company and their product gives me a feeling of confidence. I look for the GOTS certification. This is the Global Organic Textile Standard. The GOTS certification ensures that the non-toxic rug is certified organic and that it prohibits the use of most chemicals like flame retardants and pesticides. The second best certification is the Okiotech Standard 100. This will ensure that there are less toxins like pesticide residue, phthalates, and harmful dyes. And the last thing you can look for is double check and make sure that your rug is not treated with anything. So make sure you look at the backing material to ensure that it is free from toxic adhesives and that it doesn't contain a toxic material. This is often omitted from the rug listings, which can make a rug look like a healthy option because the fibers are natural when it's really not. Secondly, take a look to make sure that there are no added treatments to the fibers. Waterproof and stain-proof treatments will oftentimes add PFOAs and formaldehyde to the rug. These will both off-gas over the life of the rug and introduce VOCs to your home space. So some natural fibers you can look for when you want to shop for a rug. Um, we're going to talk about a few of them here. So we all know the stuff to avoid in rugs. It's time for the good news. The good news is that there's so many options when it comes to natural rugs. And to be honest, there's more available now than ever before. So wool is probably the most common natural fiber. And for a good reason, it's an extremely resilient material in terms of wear and staining. In fact, because wool has a natural lanolin coating, it naturally resists stains and dirt from penetrating the fibers. Natural rug fibers made of wool are also resistant to dust mites, mildew, and bacteria growth, making it a perfect option for anyone who has an allergy. I personally like wool rugs as a natural option because of the excellent excellent insulating barrier that they provide. The fibers help moderate the temperature and humidity within your home by absorbing and then releasing moisture as necessary. And another added benefit of having a wool fiber natural rug is that it's naturally flame resistant and it doesn't require additional chemical flame retardants to be added to it. Another option is jute. If you are looking for a really low maintenance natural rug, jute could be a really good option. It's a relatively soft material that is made of dried plant fibers. One of the benefits of jute is that it's completely renewable and grows abundantly without the need for pesticides. So often this is a woven rug that requires very little maintenance in comparison to natural rug options because of its natural fibers. You do need to be careful not to get this type of rug extremely wet, however. Jute is a generally softer rug and can be great for high traffic areas that aren't going to bring in wet shoes. Another option is sisal. So when you're looking for an extremely durable rug, this is the perfect material. It's often used in like a rope and a twine, so you know it's thicker and it's a resilient fiber. It's a rougher texture than jute, cotton, or wool when you're comparing natural rug fibers, so it's more ideal for an entry rug than anything else. And then finally, cotton. Cotton is a very soft and versatile textile option for a natural rug. This is the best option for playrooms and kids' rooms because oftentimes they're washable. You want to try and find an organic cotton, um, and certified is even better. This is going to ensure that there have been no pesticides used on the fibers. Cotton rugs are good for spots that you want to have a softer feel kids rooms, living rooms. Cotton fibers are also quite strong and breathable, which means that they really don't hold on to added moisture. So now I want to share with you some of my favorite trusted brands when it comes to rug shopping. So recently I came across Roganique. Um, they have so many different organic textile and clothing options. They have rugs that are made of chemical free organic cotton, hemp, and wool. Um, they're completely free from PFAs and use only natural fibers. You can find anything from an area rug to bath mats, which makes it easy to deck every room in your house with a natural toxin free rug. All rugs are dyed with natural colors or they're left undyed for a more natural appearance. Earthweave is another great option. Originally, they were a carpeting company and they've branched off into rugs that are perfectly safe and healthy for your home. They are they have no added chemical 
treatments or chemicals to the carpet. Their fibers are 100% natural. I have a link in this week's blog post where you can look at Earthweave rugs at the Green Design Center. Another option is Lorena Canals. Um, she has rugs that are 100% handmade by artisans who spin and dye the cotton fibers. And because the natural fibers chosen are mainly cotton and wool, these rugs are 100% washable. They're perfect for kids' spaces and all the rugs are colored using natural dyes. The great thing I do love just for ease of purchasing is her rugs are available on Amazon as well as um, this next place, Rugs by Rue. So Rugs by Rue is one of my absolute favorites. Sandy Wong, the creator of Rugs by Rue, is also a mom, which means she cares deeply about the quality of the products that she offers. Not only does she choose the most sustainable brands, but she strives to find the most ethical solutions in her industry. She has a perfectly curated site, and she was so kind to offer a 15% off coupon if you use Healthy House 15 when you check out. Another new brand that I had come across was Willoughby. So they have washable rugs made with natural dyes and they are so cute for kids' rooms and play spaces. The rugs are hand-loomed. They are 100% GOTS certified organic gauze and the rugs are made by a family of Amish weavers. There's no fabric waste and they don't use any electricity when making the rugs, which I thought was really cool. Another bigger brand that you may have heard about is Hook and Loom. They have a great website to visit for organic rugs and natural rug options. They have their rugs sorted into cotton and wool, and they also have several different patterns that you can pick from. Another last option that I want to share with you is Organic Weave. I've shared this before. My friend Linda founded her company and continues to be the only GOTS certified area rugs available. Her beautiful rugs are handmade and they're completely toxin free with no pesticides, flame retardants, or chemical dyes. Linda has given us a code that you can use. If you use Amanda, when you check out, you get 5% off of your purchase on her website. So let's move on to rug pads. One thing I've learned over my many years of purchasing rugs for our home is that when you get a new rug, a high quality rug pad is a must. But if you've ever shopped for a new rug pad, you know there are so many different materials and brands. It can take almost as much time to pick out a natural rug as it can to find an organic rug pad. Many of the rug pads contain PVC or polyvinyl chloride. It's a type of plastic that off gases into your home. I recently wrote a post about PVC toxins and we found out that they are linked. This chemical is linked to childhood obesity, hormone disruption, increased risk of cancer, neurological toxicity, and abnormal reproductive development. Another material that is quite common in rug pads is synthetic latex. This is not to be confused with natural organic latex from rubber trees. Synthetic latex is completely man-made and is made from petroleum-based chemicals. These chemicals often contain styrene, which is a known carcinogen. It also emits VOCs into the air, putting us in direct contact with this toxin, which is also causing neurotoxicity. So let's take a look at toxin-free rug pads. There are a couple different options you can go for. First, you can find one that is natural rubber. Finding an organic rug pad that is 100% natural rubber is going to add some extra cushion to your rug as well as keep it in place if it's on a smooth surface. Organic rug pads are made from the rubber tree and will contain no pesticides or toxins. I have the Earthweave Natural Rug Grippers linked in my blog post this week as my top pick for this. Another option would be natural wool or felt. So getting an organic wool material is also another great option when it comes to an organic rug pad. Make sure it's an organic wool or felt material to ensure no chemicals or pesticides have been used on it. However, Make sure that you're not getting a rug pad made of recycled carpet fibers either, which can likely contain chemicals. I have linked this week the Eco Plush rug pad um, that is a felt rug pad. And then last, you can find a jute blend. So many organic rug pads are made with a few different materials, one of which being a blend of jute and rubber. This type of rug pad makes for a great nod skid surface and holds your rug firmly in place if it's on a smooth floor. 
And this is Nature's Grip, which I have linked in the blog post this week. So if you would like links to anything that you saw in this video, I have it all linked in the blog post. The link for my blog post is at the end of the video description. You guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and learning more about low toxin options for rugs and rug pads. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment, send me an email. I do these videos every week and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, I will be back again next week with another healthy house tip on creating an indoor space that really supports your health and wellness.